Hello again, people. Right, I'm um, gonna show you and take you through um, scripting part two. Um, basically, um, KaiScript has developed uh, since the last video, and what you're seeing right now is the console. The um, this is what I've managed to achieve visually, uh, but this is supported by a number of scripts and the game engine has progressed a lot in terms of in capabilities you can see as well there's a custom character class um, it's also able to import 3ds file formats um, like for different body parts but it's just a custom character class what I'm going to take you through however is scripting what you can see right now is uh, the player script now, um, to, in, in order to you know um, to have the player script well, the script to work. I created a um, text editor, basically, which one can use to actually um, make these scripts. These are saved in Kai script format, or, and then they compile the script file. Uh, now, Kai is Kazai's artificial intelligence script. Um, this is why they call Kai script. But on opening a Kai file. Um, what the editor does, it checks the syntax, co um, color codes in, and then you're able to edit it, change it, and then you should be able, when I'm finished making the editor, because it's still in testing stages, well, one should be able to actually compile the script. Now, there'll be different types of um, scripts that can be compiled. Um, uh, mainly you can you know create a user interface, world scripts, characters. Um, what I'm gonna take you through however is changing different textures. Now the game engine has its own texture folder which is defaulted to you know the uh, whatever the name of the game, uh, a folder called data and a folder called textures. Now I'm gonna change some of the textures of the world that you saw um, about a, a, a minute ago. And um, to change those, you'd have to change the Kai file, or you can change the script file directly. Um, I'm going to use Notepad to change um, the textures, so as to illustrate, you know, how the well the script working and changing textures and changing small attributes as well. Um, the script, of course, I mean, it's, it's still. Um, a lot of work needs to be done uh, to add more to its functionality. Um, things like um, you know would also involve as well uh, adding different assets, adding different weather patterns, you know, in the world, and also adding attributes to the world that may be manipulated by the different characters. Such as, for example, say a character hates fighting in the fog. It, uh, the character's performance will be actually rather bad in fog. Right? I just changed the two two textures. Um, one was the ground texture, and the other was for the walls, basically. Um, if you look at the parameters given for the, the world, um, you take in two texture parameters. Right. What I just opened is the Kai uh, file for um, characters. Now this includes adding body parts, also positioning these body parts, and also it looks for um, 3ds files because it can import 3ds files. Uh, but if it can't find the file, it replaces them with a default member of you know the character class that I created. Which are basically just um, blue objects. Right, you open the editor. You open on new. Um, you can then, you know, create uh, you know something with uh, create uh, a game in the C drive. My game. Right. What I'm gonna do is hello world because I mean every programming language when one learns it, first program they'll do is hello world. Just to illustrate the script working, right? Now, when you you know create you know the project, right? It automatically creates the hello world folder in the folders that you specified. Now, uh, for me, C drive, my games. From then on, you can actually then 
uh, type in whatever scripts compile it and make the game right this is where I would already done it you know save me a lot of time um, so what I'm opening now is the script file well script Kai script Kai script file now the Kai script file is responsible for loading in all other types of scripts like player properties Kazai build player create the player now what I want to focus on is the UI class we want it to override the game class so at the moment by default it's commented out so if we uncomment the override game part with create the UI class um, what happens is when the programs run, we'll run the UI class instead of the game classes, which is the player class and the world classes. Um, right now, I'm gonna look at okay, opening another character file. Right. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to create Hello World in. Um, to illustrate how scripting works. Now, how KiteGit works is it reads from the KiteScript syntax file and into the uh, into the program. That's how it knows which syntax is which and what the keywords, the functions, and the like. Right. Now, what we have is basically written to Hello World, our Hello World program. Um, and there's the script file, there's the UI file, and there's Kyfe game. Try to open it, however, and it doesn't have all the files it needs to run. Right, so I'm still yet to add a lot of work, do a lot of work towards the editor to enable it to actually um, take in a run, um, you know, do a full compile process. And that involves as well copying um, the you know, data folder to um, you know data folder and things that it needs for it to run any game. So I'm just gonna copy the data folder that I have default for the console into the game folder and um, hit 3ds for the character because um, I'm also gonna copy some of these script files as well. Um, otherwise, what I've already done basically is I have already um, created um, I've, I've already created um, the script um, um, the UI class which will run from the script class um, you know for the running of you know the hello world program right I'm also gonna copy the executable which will automatically search for uh, these the script files when you run it. At the moment, the override is um, game part of the class UI is still in operation, so it doesn't show Hello World. So I'm going to edit manually the script class. Right, I'm just gonna copy this. Right, so I'm gonna edit the UI class. Uh, oh no, the script class which loads in the UI um, now when the script has been compiled it looks different from the Kai file it's all written in one line but it can be found by the program right, I'm gonna remove these comments and save right. now I'm gonna run Kaifke and voila you should have hello world oh, bit of a buggy error anyway I'm going to um, leave you guys now to enjoy the fog effect that I have for KiteK version 3.3, which is the current version of KiteK I'm working on right now. Um, otherwise, hopefully soon I'll uh, bring you the last script video with the working script and how to compile a full game. Otherwise, thank you for watching and uh, uh, enjoy. <laughs>